she is indignant about the accusations and going into that particular aspect of it. The inference is that she needs a man to pay for her. And she made it clear yesterday that a man is not a plan. It's not somebody who's going to, uh, you know, treat her or, or sort of be this savior in her life. She doesn't need that. She well, made that a was point. Important. I don't want to cut you yeah. off, but that was important yeah. because of the finances, right? Because That's the idea right. of whether the personal benefit was derived was tied to financial gain. And I want to pick on, on this because there was an inference yesterday from defense attorneys that her having these stacks of cash somehow is sort of nefarious or that should lead yeah. to some, you know, question marks. It might be a cultural thing. I know a lot of black and brown people who keep cash on them. There's a mistrust of the systems at large. People feel like this is our hard-earned money that we earn with blood, sweat, and tears. It's certainly something that happens here in Atlanta and beyond in our community, so I don't think that is sort of a gotcha moment for the defense attorneys at all. Lord. Well, we will see what it means. I mean, my great-grandmother died at 105, and I know she had money in her insulation. John? Yeah. Welcome back, villagers, to another episode of Hugh Trant, the Insurance Man. When you watch that video clip by CNN, chances are you probably think that Fanny Willis is a good person. However, she's not. So I'm gonna give you a summary of this video and then I'll throw a bunch of juice towards the end so that way it can connect all the dots for you guys. And this is very important because going forward, I'll make more videos like this. So that way we can stop the West propaganda, the BS legacy media, because it's getting out of hand. If I don't speak up now, your children, my kid will have to pay for it. And, and, and they're brainwashing us to an all time ultimate evil level. So I can't do that with, a, with a children in our village, we need to act now. So the summary of everything. So what happened? And we had to stick to facts over feelings, okay? Um, so she lied. Fanny Willis lied. Uh, gave bribes, paid cash for state businesses. Expense. Oh my gosh. So she lied, gave bribes, paid cash for state business expenses, and had an affair with a married man who was under her employment. And this married man is Nathan Wade, the person she hired to be the prosecutor of a man. They colluded on a case to go after a man to interfere with his election and cast doubt on the man to the general public. That's election interference. It's a crime, by the way. But according to these two, they're doing good which is incorrect and they were caught they got caught and that's a fact but legacy media they're going to try to steer you away from actual facts because they're going to tell you oh this person of color is a good person she keep cash at home so she can use it for expenses it's called money laundering stick to facts forget your feelings so what really happened um so what happened was that uh, Fanny Willis is a DA from Georgia who's going on clout chasing, go after President Donald Trump, and she hired a prosecutor. Who's his prosecutor? His name is Nathan Wade. Nathan Wade is clapping her cheeks. How many times? I don't know. None of my business. But they didn't disclose that. And what makes it matter worse, she's using state expenses uh taxpayer your money my money pay him cash and he's using his business credit card to pay for their uh, travel expenses or go on to nice trip together and clap more cheeks when they're at it right uh, and he's using his business credit card to pay for all of that and in exchange she pay him back by using cash that is Money laundering 101. But you cannot find those information on CNN or Legacy Media because they're going to make this person, Fanny Willis, like she's a saint. That's BS. Get out of here. Money laundering 101. That's a crime, by the way. So, what happened was that uh, one of her former close friends testified that their romantic relationship has been going on prior to. The, the court. So that means they lied because Nathan Wade testified in front of a judge saying, I had no 
romantic relationship with this lady. A lie. That's also a crime. So what happened after that? I get so frustrated. So what happened after that? So Wade claimed uh, Fanny reimbursed him, you know, through all the expenses, through cash. And what did Fanny say? Fanny said, oh, when I took out a large amount of money on my first campaign, I kept, <laughs> I kept some of the cash. She took money from her first campaign, took the cash, and kept it at home and used that cash to pay for their travel expenses on uh, uh, romantic trips. Crazy, right? And that's legal, according to them. But everybody else, that is a crime. You can't do that. So he caught lying, 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 and he went back and forth, back and forth, and now he can fix his story. So he fixed his story, he got caught lying, so um, he said, hey, I, I didn't have no receipts, but I do have a, a business credit card statement. So you lie so much, you guys, that you eventually gonna bury yourself. So that's why don't lie. If you lie, you will eventually get caught and you lie some more so much that you can uh, expose yourself. And they both did. Fanny Willis is a criminal. You cannot money launder. Nathan Wade is a criminal. You cannot take your business card and use it for expenses that you are in favor. It's not a business event. You can't just pay for to go to Belize and clap some cheeks uh, of, of the person that hired you and, and, and then she give you cash for that and you use your, your business credit card to pay. That's, that's, that's money laundering. And I'm sorry that this video is a little bit longer, but I'm, I'm, I'm upset. I'm so upset to the point where I wrote a poem so that way you can remember it because you made it to the end of this video. Would you like to hear it? Here you go. Fanny Willis got laid. Nathan Wade got paid. Taxpayers got played. Money to Ukraine? Okay. America first? No way. Let me know because every bars I just dropped right there is off facts. I appreciate villagers for watching to the end of this video. Don't forget to subscribe and if you want to give me extra love, comment because that will help with the algorithm. My first video and I hope it gave you some hard facts and some truth because I'm tired of legacy media painting a bad person to be a saint and a saint to be the devil. Thank you for watching. Until next time.